welcome back to the channel, Rosie here, we're the Jossaman Sisters and today I have a brand new Fit and Vibe workout that's targeting your core, completely body weight, see you there! Hi guys and welcome to your Fit in Vibe core workout today. So we're going to start seated and you're going to be floor based for the duration of this workout. So actually first off you're going to start in a seated pipe position, so legs are out nice and long, toes to ceiling, you're going to drop your hands back behind you and what we're going to do is we're going to alternate a crunch, pulling in and resetting to that pipe, pulling in and resetting to that pipe, good. Now what you want to do is just try and keep your chest nice and proud and get as close as you can each crunch. We're going to do 45 seconds of work on every single move today and we're going to try and push that core engagement, keep going. Good work. Do you like my bright leggings today? I'm loving them. They make me feel pretty, pretty badass. Keep pushing it. We've got like a green theme, so I feel like I'm a very suited to the setup today. Keep pushing it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Now, you're going to roll down to the floor to lie down. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our hands behind the nape of our neck, just here, elbows wide. With one foot staying planted, knee to the ceiling, we're going to extend the opposite leg nice and long, foot pointed, okay? And we're going to do a crunch across the body, putting elbow into knee, and then extending, keeping that leg hovering off the floor as you extend long. Keeping shoulder blades off, and elbows resetting nice and wide every time at the end of those crunches. Good. Opposite, elbow to knee, crunch. Now let's go. Push three, you're going to do a full 45 on this one leg and then all the same on the other. Keep going and making sure that your back's staying grounded into that floor as you lift and crunch and extend that leg long. Keep going. Push it guys, you're doing really well. And last one. Extend, release. Straight in, extend that opposite leg and let's go for it. Move number three, opening out nice and open with that chest. Pulling in and getting contact if you can, every single crunch. Get it. Breathing throughout this core work, checking in, is that belly button sucked into your spine? Are you grounded? Are you feeling your core yet? I definitely am, this one is that little bit more of a push going into that second side of work. Let's go, move number three or five. Keep breathing. Nice. Push, guys. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. Good. And just a little rock side to side for those legs and lower trunk. Now what we're going to do is you're going to take one arm up overhead, squeeze through to crunch. Overhead, squeeze through to crunch on the outer edge of that leg. Now if you note, this arm is assisting a little bit. It's just going to help you get fully through and reach. We're working into those obliques. Let's go. Push. Grounding through and sitting on the forearm of that supporting arm to tap your fingertips into the water. Imagine you're swimming for your life. <laughs> Good. Push in through that core, reach across and tap. 4.45, first side. Are you feeling it after those first sets of elbow to knee crunches? Let's go, relax. Woo. And you just change over, so other arm comes down. Opposite arm reaches tall, and you're going to reach forwards to tap and drop back. And to tap, release, drop back. This side is definitely trickier for me than the first, and that's when you realise we all have a strong side. Which one's yours? Keep pushing, guys. You're doing really well. You should be feeling that core. What you can do today is push a little bit harder add on any other cool workout that we have on our channel or you could just do another round of this 
which I can already say would be a good Alberta. One more rep after this to finish. Release, extend long. Ah, breathe, tuck those knees into chest. Give yourself a little hug and a rock. And release those legs, good. Gently bring yourself up and give this video a massive thumbs up if you liked it today. Like I said, just go again. If you're feeling good, if you're feeling ready to push for 10 minutes, then do it and comment below that you did. And I'll see you soon for more workouts.